Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tim Blair. And I'm Scott Orndorff. And we're part of the PhD crew. Uh, we're here to present an English project for the Mrs. Slampack, who is obviously the greatest teacher of all time. Scott here is going to tell us where we're going to be time traveling to. Today we're going to be going back to winter 1975 in good old Kabul, Afghanistan, where we're going to try to find Amir, who has just won the kite fighting competition. So uh, we're going to head in my time traveling 96 olds and uh, head back in time. Let's go. Next stop, 1975. Well, I'm a little dizzy from time travel. Whew. I think I might get sick. Oh, my God. This looks about right. Yeah. This looks like Kabul. Dude, this kid with blue kite. That's a mirror. Dude, it is. Hey, you a mirror? Yeah, that's me. So, uh, we're from the future. This might be a little bit weird, but is there anywhere we would be able to go to ask you a few questions? Um, yeah, I guess we can get back to my house. What's, what's with the kite? Uh, I just got done winning this at a kite competition. So, oh. you, so you won? Yeah, I won. That's, that's pretty good. So you. I think we'd go someplace inside because it's getting a little dark out. You want to maybe talk about it? Yeah, I guess. All right, oh, let's go. Nice. So, um, Amir, um, gotta say we read a story in our English class about your life and your uh, struggles, and uh, I gotta say it was excellent. So, if, if it's all right, we're just, we just want to ask a few questions to get your perspective and things about your life. So. Uh, Scott, you can start off by... You, uh, I, I noticed you have this blue kite here. Um, like, where'd you get it? Why do you have this with you right now? This uh, right here is the last kite that I had to cut down to win the tournament back in Kabul. And uh, my friend Hassan really uh, ran it down for me, and that's why I have it with me. So uh, we were, again, uh, we read the story of your life and... Uh, story about your father Baba's struggles and conflicts, so we were wondering what it was like to finally win his respect. Um, you know, all my life I've really been trying to gain the respect of my father, and up until now it felt like there was always a, like a wall between us, and after winning this uh, kite tournament, it really meant a lot for uh, me to have the respect for him, and it really it means the world to me. So in the story where we read about uh, Hassan, tell us about your uh, relationship you had with him. Um, Hassan, uh, he was my servant and uh, he is or uh, was, I guess, my best friend. But um, growing up, we were always like brothers. Uh, we were inseparable, really. Even though we had different backgrounds and religions, him being a Hazara and me a Christian, it didn't matter to us. We were still always together and inseparable. So, uh... Why do you say you, you were best friends? Uh, well, I mean, a little while ago I saw something in the alleyway, but uh, I'd rather not talk about it. Alright, well, we're not going to go any further with that. We don't want you to feel uh, uncomfortable, so... Uh, uh, um, so, now that you got this that last chapter of life in the past, what would you like to do with the rest of your life? Um, I believe in not. I've always been inspired to be a writer, but um, and one of the people that really most inspired me was my father's friend, uh, Raheem Khan. He uh, bought me my first notebook that I really started writing stories in, and uh, that really helped motivate me to become a published and successful writer. Alright, well, uh, we wish you the best of luck with that and the rest of your life. Thank you. So, um, but I'd say it's getting a little late, and uh, we got to be attentive in Miss Slampack's class. Don't want to sleep on that one. No. Nope. Uh, best of luck to you. Is.
It's a great class, so we gotta get awesome. our sleep. Gotta get our sleep in for that. So uh, better get going. But thanks, Amir. It's been a pleasure. Been real, man. I'll see you later. Bye, bye.